Hello my gorgeous lot, and welcome back to my Minecraft Zoo series on the Omega server with the Zawa Evolved mod. Now then, in today's episode, we get to name a special butterfly. I receive a gorgeous gift that was totally unexpected, and we tour another zoo. So, you'll be wanting to stick around for all that, so you don't miss a thing. But first, I need to grow some eucalyptus trees so I can get some leaves for today's exhibit, which is, as you've, no as you've noticed from the title, is the koala exhibit. Now then, whoa! Oh my goodness me! <laughs> I'd hoped for a small one, but I had forgotten eucalyptus trees were so large. Okay then, let me see if I can get up there. Oh dear, I keep forgetting that happens. So sad. Right, let me see if I can get on that, um, on the top of that tree. Let's have a look. Gotta get me sights. Where is it? There? There? Can I get on? Oh, there we go. Now then, let me get some of these leaves. Are they different from other? They are different. Okay then, we'll get some of these. I haven't got much on my shears, but at least I'll get a few. And of course, I have my Fortune 3 axe, which is going to get me some more saplings. Because I might need to do a few of these. Ooh, I like the view from up here. I haven't seen it from this angle before. Can't see the butterfly house from the tower. But that's okay. Oh, I do like that Kakapo exhibit. And I quite like these two separate ones over here. Hmm, not sure what I'm going to put into those two uh, round ones on either end. Maybe the insects, because they're quite small ones. I like the way the path's going round there as well. Hmm, nice. Now then, it might be quicker for me if I try four together for these eucalyptus to see if I can get a really big tree so that when I get up there and do a lot of chopping, that it isn't as, you know, it isn't all up and down. So let's see what we get. Oh my goodness me. Wow. Yes. I think that's what I was hoping for. But look at this here. There's a nice little tree there. That's gorgeous. That is going in the exhibit just like it is because I want a very short tree. Oh, yes. Now, I built this the same as the fairy enclosure up to now. But this bit is going to be a little bit different because I'd like some running water in this one instead of just a flat pond. So I'm turning my hand at pond making or... Oh, or stream making, should I say. <laughs> but I'm not quite sure if it will work out, so I'm just I'm just building this up and I'm hoping that the water will run down here and we'll have a tiny little pond here. Because I'm always conscious of making something that will drown the animals and I really don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna have a a tiny little pond here. Let's see. Okay, now for the water. Is that going to run down? Well, that's looking good so far. Obviously, I don't want to keep it running. This bottom bit needs to be a pool. Now then, I've still got a bit of running water here that I don't really want. And no matter where I put this water, I can't get rid of it. It's still there, look. I'm not quite sure. I wonder if it's because I should have laid the water at the bottom first. Let me just try that there no it's still not going let me try it with some um, slabs in the bottom see if that'll stop it from flowing oh that's lifted that bit up that's all right in there I'll put, put those in there for now and then where can I put this one if I put this there oh no that's lifted up too much no no I'll have to take that out up there so I don't want it like that it looks like it should be coming out of the grass Maybe if I put some more in. Let's put that there and that there. Uh, let me take that out. Look, let, let me just... Right, those are okay. Let me waterlog that. And let me just get a bit more water to waterlog the other one. Right, if I put that in there. Right, can I put that in there? That's it. That's what I wanted. Okay. And it, does it feel safe if I sort of just let myself float down while I float down onto the slab? So it seems okay, does that? But I'd like a flower in it, and I think probably one there. And could I have another one maybe is there? 
I'm going to try and replicate that tree that I grew earlier. That flat, short eucalyptus tree. The bit minor changes. Minor changes. Because I want to fit it round here. So, now for the leaves. It's always tricky with leaves. So let's start down there. Because they were all around the trunk. On that other shorter one. And then... I think that should do it for the first sort of course there. Right, I need to get these right, I think. Right, let's see if I can put another layer on this side. It shouldn't touch the fence. It should be all right if it did touch the fence, I think. I quite like that. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think I quite like that. Now, I think I want to put a few bushes around as well. I know you don't get eucalyptus bushes, but they do get quite short, don't they? With that one I grew just then. Another one round here, I think. There we go. There we go. And I think I might attach these bushes to the tree at the back there. Just to sort of make it connect there. It's like overgrown leaves that have sort of merged into each other. Yeah, I think that looks okay. And I want some um, sort of muddy areas around the pond. Because if they're getting in and out, it would get muddy, wouldn't it? There we go. Some coarse dirt as well. And I'd like some rotten logs somewhere. So I'm thinking they might go... I don't want them too near the fence. Maybe... Maybe here? Yeah. Uh, can I put another one there? Maybe? No, I'd, I don't quite like that. That doesn't look right, does it, really? Let me take that off again. Where's my axe? There we go. And I'll take this bottom one off again. I think that's too near to the pond, so I'm going to move that up a little bit. Okay, I need to get another one. I've got lots of termites now, mind. Okay, there's going to be lots and lots of leaves everywhere. A bit like the Kakapo um, exhibit, because they're in a forest. Now, I just want to p pretty up this pond a bit. And I'm just wondering, because there's not much space, so I can't put a lot in. So I'm going to put one of these in. don't think it needs to go there, though. Let's try it in the middle and see what that looks like. I'd like to put a reed in as well. So I've just taken a slab out there, although I'm not quite sure if that's the safest place to take a slab out of, because it's right next to a block that's um, creating the land. Can I put something else in? Maybe one more thing? I don't know. I don't even know where to put it, really. Where shall I put it? Uh, shall we try it there? No, no, don't like that there. I'll just leave it like that, I think. Loads of ferns. Loads of ferns everywhere where there's no leaves. <laughs> there we go. Now then, how's that looking? Yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that. how that's looking. That's looking okay. Okay. A bromelade or two. Let's m remove that fern and have a bromelade there. And then I've got a yellow one as well. I think I'll put that round here somewhere. The very subtle colours are these. Uh, there we go. Now, that's not looking too bad at all. Now, eucalyptus bushes. So I'm just going to put a couple around this side. Now, I want to put some light in here around this bush somewhere I'm trying to figure out which block I need to remove I think actually this one here in the corner might be the one to go for so I'm just going to make this super deep I just want some you know sort of some ambient light in here not anything bright so that's going to go right at the bottom of there and then some grass uh, some leaves just on top of it there we go yeah I think that's good now then, I'm thinking of having something for the koalas to climb up, because I know the climbers. So, let me just find some of those branches. Now, you know I don't like using these, but I think needs must. So I need to try and figure out some kind of shape for this. I wonder if they will crawl up it. I don't know if they will or not. Maybe it's too thin or... I don't know. But the potential is there, anyway. 
let's see if we can put that oh no I don't I don't like how it connects like that let's try it um let's try this one a bit further up on here maybe let's have a look uh, on here maybe okay uh, is that enough do you think a bit more here okay I think I'll leave it at that that's not too bad oh dear now then I'm gonna put a forager on um, no I don't like how that it doesn't attach to that so that's no good on there what about um, can it go anywhere here no I don't think no I don't think I want to put it around there let's have a look around the other side uh, what about here maybe there oh no that's no good I didn't want it I wanted it on the floor actually let me see if I can move that leaf and will it go on the floor now yeah gosh it, it is big isn't it it is quite big right I'm gonna put some rope up now as well just on that bit there that's it uh, I don't know if they'll get on top of the tree but I don't think they'll get from the tree to outside the exhibit so it should be okay I think I'm trying to find another flat bit to put another piece of rope on it let's have a look that will do right there where's that gonna go it's gonna go there look okay that looks all right I think now then a scratching post let me put it on there what about that looks quite a complicated affair does that doesn't it let's see how the koalas like it okay here goes right oh oh dear can't get in there can I change that can I let me just take that off uh, I know I'm a bit taller than a koala but I want to be able to get in when I when I can let's just put this a bit further up and oh, I can't get past there now either hang on a minute can I if let me take this bottom bit out what if I put that in there I think that looks all right I think that should be fine okay right what was I doing okay so the first koala I'm gonna set free is a Queensland and it's a male so I'm gonna put this here on this side whoa oh oh come on get out it's just treading water on that bit where I've taken the slab out come on move over move over come on get out okay you can get out where there's a slab so I think I need to put a slab back there okay I'm gonna have to take that reed out because I need a slab there I did have that you know I did wonder when I put that in if it was gonna be a problem right he's there um, and I think I'll put a slab in the middle there as well so there's slabs everywhere and I put that in there instead because that just floats on the top okay now the next two are both females so this first of the females is a Melbourne and I think I'll put her right round here whoa that, <laughs> that is such a jump and then and the last variant is the Queensland so I'm gonna put her right over here Wow <laughs> I can't believe how how high they jump oh my goodness right they're in okay let me just put these down here now let's have a look at them hello oh they're a bit gorgeous aren't they they're very jumpy though didn't know they'd be so jumpy I thought they were very slow animals <laughs> I think they need to <laughs> calm down a little bit this one's jumpy as well and it's going up and down the uh, the chain fence but it's not getting up any higher than that so I think that should be all right I think but I think they're gonna be all right in there nice now then not so long since Maddie came to give me some advice about my zoo that I'd asked for she's a mine of information and she'd brought a monarch butterfly when she'd heard that I was looking for one but I'd found one by the time she'd caught one but she brought it anyway and we gave it a special name a lovely addition to the butterfly house 
Oh, um, could we name it Mary? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Thank you. This was my grandmother's name. Oh. She passed last year. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Oops. There you go. Oh, yep. You. There, there she is. Thank you. Nice. Oh, it shows up in the book as well as Mary. Oh, that's nice. Aww. <laughs> that's... that's really good. Have you seen it? Look. <laughs> no, I haven't. I didn't know the names came up in the book. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> that's quite good. That is cute. Awesome. Thank you. And it wasn't long after that that Ariana came to visit and she threw a shulker box at me. And when I picked it up and looked in it, it was a shulker full of map art. I was flabbergasted. I just didn't know what to say. She took me over to her place to show me how it was supposed to look. And the next clip is of me putting it together. They said it was inspired by the butterfly house. So I thought the best place to put it was right next to it. It took Ariana and her friends about three weeks working on this. and it shows all 11 butterfly variants that are featured in Zawa Evolved. It's absolutely gorgeous, I love it. So thank you, Ariana Sillerin, Della Kay, and Joker's Soul 69. And talking of Joker's Soul 69, I think this is a good time to show you our next zoo tour. All right, so this will will be the entrance eventually. Nice. With little shop yeah. inside, but I like those colors. Not done yet. So, but you know, work in progress. The whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the the palette's the the palette's gorgeous. It goes together really well. I like that. Thank you. Let's start this way. It has the most the most. Okay. Stuff. So this is the butterfly house. Oops. Shut behind. Oh wow. Oh wow. The butterflies are gonna be right at home in here with all these flowers. Oh the. Colors. Yeah, there's there's a few there's a few around. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Mmm. Nice. So yeah, oh, that's Oh yeah. Yeah, the colours in here are really nice as well. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. And there's hidden lighting too, so that it's it's nice at night. Yeah. Well. Oh nice. And then here we have Anteater. Oh I haven't done <laughs> an anteater enclosure yet. Oh, that's nice. They they really like the water. And oh. um <laughs> And that's Fred and Ethel. Um, a lot of people don't get the reference if they're young, but from I Love Lucy. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I think I used to watch uh, I Love Lucy when I was when I was younger, but uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember the names of uh, Fred and Ethel. Who were they? They were the best friends. Oh. The, the, 
I, I believe, if I'm correct, they owned maybe the apartment building that they all lived in. Oh, right. <laughs> but I'm not 1,000% sure. So yeah, yeah. They, they really like the water. I've taken leads and moved them out. Yeah. And uh, they they go back. They go back in. <laughs> well, I found one of my kakapos treading water like that in the middle of my pond. Uh, I wasn't sure whether they could get out or not. Have you seen them get out since they've been in? You know, actually, they have gone over to the little sand area, so I know they can get out. Oh, nice. To the, yeah. To the sand, so. Oh, they obviously like paddling then. Yeah. They must, they must Ooh, zebras. Be able to yeah, the, as you guys say zebra, as we say zebra. Zebra, zebra yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Are right. in here. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And they Ooh. usually hang out towards the back so we can go around them. All right then. Oh yeah. good, the eagles on the other side of the fence. He They're kind of mean. Oh, they <laughs> are. Yes, I was attacked by an eagle not so long since. <laughs> yeah. You got to keep your eyes open and even more so now with the lions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nice. That is a really nice enclosure. I love the colors that you've put in there. Thank you. Yeah. So we have shorty and stump. That's the giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> and the zebra are zigzag and I can't remember the other one. What are what are they names? Oh, homie. <laughs> zigzag. Awesome. <laughs> so this uh, this is the uh, downstairs portion of the orang. Oh wow. Uh, orang exhibit and I don't even see any. Oh, here's one right here. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, I love coming down and, and seeing <laughs> underneath and inside. I've only done it with one of my exhibits, but I haven't done many big ones yet. Oh, look at these. <laughs> and and these orangs are the golden girls. Ah. So Ro Rose, Dorothy, uh, Blanche, and Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh. Oh, I wish you could see the names through the glass, but it doesn't let you see them, I does know. it? I know, it doesn't. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so, so they're, nice. <laughs> they're fun, for oh. sure. And they do roam about, but they can climb, just so you know, if you make... Uh, well, you have an arranged exhibit, don't you? Uh, no, no, I haven't. I haven't got one yet. Well, they can climb that back wall. Oh um, right, yeah. So there's a lip. I put a lip around oh, right. it so that they can climb out. And that stops them, does it? It doesn't. Um, it, yeah. Does it have to be? Is it just one slab you have put that comes yeah, in? It's just oh, one right. Slab. Oh, that's not too yeah. too difficult then, is it? That's not too bad at all. No, and you can still see pretty good. Right. So there's a different ways to view them from upstairs. Right. And you can look down. Oh into yeah, the... yeah. <laughs> And view them from here as well and uh Ari oh. made this map yes so. i've got uh, i've got one of those oh it's gorgeous so you can see that the lip does cause a little bit of viewing issues from the front part oh here. right yeah but i i can actually probably take that down because they don't climb the glass all I right i didn't know that I put the lip up so i can probably remove that part yeah yeah over Ooh. here we have the spider monkeys in their castle <laughs> <laughs> very bouncy <laughs> yeah oh that's gorgeous oh another eagle there i'll just give that a wide bird. go away mr eagle because <laughs> that's where we need to go is oh. right oh right okay nice ah i made these little jumpy things oh i've never seen Whoops. Oh, a but, bit parkour. <laughs> yeah. Nice. But, uh, but they do like to monkey around in here. <laughs> well, you've given them a lot to um, to be um, engaged with. That's really good. Yeah. We've got lots to climb on and lots to climb up and down on. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. that's really good. <laughs> and did they get about yeah. in here then? Have you seen them on most things? Yeah. Oh, that's they, good. They do. I just haven't really seen them climb up to the top yet. So right. yeah. 
And then we have the orca exhibit. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be big then. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this wood. Thank oh, goodness wow. I'm, I'm next to a, uh, a uh, <clears throat> ocean. So all I had to do was just basically glass in the water. It was all right. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the part work at in there, but they render in the render is kind of um, not that great from right here. So yeah. we can go upstairs and right. Okay. Then you can see them. Oh, and I, I I forgot to mention that the monkeys are actually named after the group the monkeys. Oh oh gosh, that always makes me jump. I know it's coming, but it always makes me jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is oh this is gorgeous. That I really like this. Look at this. Thank you. And if you want to get in the water, you can. There's a ladder over here to get you out. All right. Okay. Um, but you don't have to. You can if you want. <laughs> but there's only two two orca in there right now. They're right. named after uh, some orca that were in captivity in San Diego when I was a kid. Um, Orky and Corky. Oh. <laughs> and then over here I have the viewing area ah <laughs> nice look at that well, I, could, I could just imagine it i could just imagine a show going on here sitting and watching things happening that's awesome I know. <laughs> that be... so that fun so good. yeah this is my bird cage for my birds oh nice <laughs> Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so and they nice. Do, they do fly up to the trees. Oh. <laughs> so what have you got in here at the moment? Is it, the, have you got a mix? Is it macaws? Yeah, it's just a mix. It's oh. a mix. And they're all named after pets that I currently have or have had. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, then. Do they, do they actually sit on the perch? I've never seen one get on the perch. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oakley. <laughs> what we got here? Cinder. Yeah. Nice. Oakley and Cinder are two of my current ones. And then yeah. we also have Beta amongst the mix in here somewhere. And she is also one of my current ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have, I have three dogs. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> um, Ari helped me decorate this tunnel. And oh, this is really nice. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Ari helped me with the orangutan exhibit as well. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I love your mix of colours. I really like them. Thank you. Wow, I so enjoyed that tour. Thank you so much, Joker Soul. I can't wait to do a return tour. Now then, I'm just looking for some ordinary ice so I can make some icy treats for the koalas. I ran out when I made some for the kakapos. And I think I can see some round here. It's got to be ordinary ice. And I think this is just what I'm looking for. So I'm going to just land here on this big stretch of ice and just see if this is the sort I need. Let me find my pick. Let me just nibble a bit here. Right, what sort is that? Yep, that's the, that's the sort I need. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done it already to support me making more content just like this. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.